So now we will see input type image in HTML form. So guys, basically we can have the input tag along with the type that is image which defines an image as a submit button. So guys, instead of the submit button, we can also have the input type that is image over here that will act as a submit button and it will be the image that will be displayed as a button over here. Now guys, the path of the image is specified in the SRC attribute. So let us check this with the help of examples in VS code as well. It acts as a submit button and sends the coordinates of the user click as X and Y coordinates. So guys, let us move to the VS code over here and and what we will be doing is after the submit button we will also have the input type that is image so let us provide the line breaks over here so that the image is being displayed on the next line and then over here we will provide the input followed by colon and this time we will have the image in this case so guys it is important to note that we are having this input type image inside the form over here so that the form attributes can be submitted and the form that is having the method attribute as get will help us in order to see all the value that is being set by the user inside the browser URL. So guys, let us check this. We have the input tag with the type image over here. And for the source part, we will have one of the images that is sample image that I have already stored in this directory path where this particular test.html file is present. Now guys, as the alternate, we will provide submit as the value over here in case there is any issue as far as displaying of this image is concerned. Now guys, apart from this, we will also set the width and height of the image. So let us say we have the width attribute as 50 pixels over here. So we set it as 50 px and then let's say we have the height attribute as well and we have the same value that is 50 pixel in this case. So guys let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser. So as you can see this is the image that we have set over here. Guys the height and width of this particular image is set in such a way that it is not looking very clear but for the example purpose we will see what happens when the user clicks on this particular image over here. So guys let's say we click on this bottom right of this particular image. So when we click on this as you can see the attributes are getting displayed over here in the URL. So you can see that BG color that is the background color that is coming from the color picker over here and then apart from that we have the birth date, date time as well as email and then in the end as you can see we have something called as X which is 47 and then we also have Y that is equal to 47. So this is nothing but the attributes where the user has clicked on this particular image over here. Now let us click on this image once again somewhere over here that is at the top left. So when we click on this so as you can see again the attributes are updated over here and you can see that the X attribute is now set as 2 and Y attribute is now set as 1 over here. So guys in this way we can come to know at which particular coordinates by using the X and Y coordinates over here the user has clicked when the user clicks on the image that represents the submit button inside the form. So guys this is the basic functionality of the input tag that is having the type that is image over here. We can set it as the normal image that is by having the source attribute we can set the image for this particular submit button and let's say when the image is not present inside the directory so let me just provide one over here that is sample underscore image one dot png which is not present inside that directory let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see since the image is not present so we can see what text is being provided as the alt attribute so that is what we can see over here that is submit in this case so guys in this way we should be having the alt attribute as well in case if there is any issues as far as displaying of the image is concerned on the browser let me just save this file once again and reload this page on the browser and if we click somewhere in the middle of this image so you can see that the parameters are updated once again and this time the x value is 23 and the y value is 25. So guys since we have set the height and width as 50 pixels over here so we will see all the numbers between 0 to 50 in this case based on where the user clicks on that particular image. So comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video. Please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos videos as well. The next video that we are going to talk about is input type file in HTML form. So stay tuned.